Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're fixing this old LS7's oiling issue with the Mighty Mouse catch can. Let's get started. Here's in all her glory here. You could tell by just looking at the beefiness of this thing. It's just so much better, larger. That's what she said. <laughs> and superior quality than a standard oil catch can. Um, now, this car already has an elite engineering catch can on it, but uh, due to some blow-by we found in the intake manifold, uh, a lot of people constantly kept recommending the Mighty Mouse as a catch can alternative. So I'm going to go ahead and swap this one out for the Elite Engineering one. I did try to remove the Elite Engineering one just a few moments ago, and it looks like whoever installed it stripped it. So I might just temporarily leave there, leave it there for the moment because this one does mount in a separate location. Um, which is pretty cool. I love the filter. I love the detail. Look at the Mighty Mouse emblem there on. It's going to be a little hard to tell on camera, but the Mighty Mouse emblem. And check this out for my Corvette, guys. So typically, the bracket that comes with the uh, Mighty Mouse setup is an actual Mighty Mouse. This one, if you can tell there in the camera, is actually the Corvette logo. So really, really cool attention to details that these guys are doing. This is the bracket here. This is the PCB hose that we're going to have to route um, onto it. And then we just have the actual bracket mounting here and, you know, any PCB fittings. Now, this is the mild setup, which is rated, I think, five, 600 horsepower, something like that. And they do have even more powerful setups than this one, a bit more um, extensive in its design. Um, I think it's called the wild setup is the next one. Um, completely, you know, designed for your application. So check them out. Um, I'm excited to get this thing installed. So let's get started. First things first is getting the actual Mighty Mouse mounted. This is next to my dry sump. If you have a C6 C06, um, we're going to go ahead and just kind of unclip this here, this harness here, because we are going to be using this bracket to adapt the new bracket to it. Um, and then we'll work. Then then we'll worry about the hose. Um, adjustments after that. First, let's get this and then we'll go from there. I'm starting to route the hoses for the oil catch can. This hose right here leading down to right here, that's going to be off the intake valley uh, that you're going to go ahead and mount. That's going to be the dirty side. And then obviously right here on this tippy top where you see this open valve, that's going to be the clean side. It's focusing somewhere else, but right here. And then over here, we're going to kind of follow suit the same. It comes with one long hose. You just got to basically go, line it up, cut it, and then route the second one. You'll see here, I still have the Elite Engineering catch can in here. These are going to kind of be plugged for now um, until I have the opportunity to go ahead and remove it. These bolts here are stripped, probably when they installed it by the previous owner, and then those bolts for the bracket are pretty unaccessible with the tools that I currently have with me. So I'm going to go ahead and wait and see if I can uh, do that at a later time. Things I took advantage of while doing the, the new Mighty Mouse setup was cleaning out my old throttle body here. So now she's squeaky clean and ready to get back fitted back on the car. You do have to remove this to access those hoses. I mean, you can definitely try without it, but definitely it's recommended to go ahead and remove the throttle body. And it's really only four bolts, so it'll only take you a few minutes to get it removed. So with that, the Mighty Mouse catch can is now installed and functional. Um, the thing looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it's not there for beauty, but it definitely is far nicer than uh, any other standard catch can. I still had the Elite Engineering one sitting in its factory place that it was there. And, and I talked, I think I talked about that a little bit earlier in my clips is that the bolts are really hard to access. And then the ones that actually just hold the actual catch can are stripped. So when I have a little more time, I may remove it. Um, one thing I noticed is on my dry sump, I do have a vent hose. It's just kind of hanging down. I might vent that back into that older catch can or all the way over to the intake filter where it is recommended to do that when the vehicle is boosted. This is a factory platform. There's no boost applicants on this thing. So I'm not too overly concerned with it, but I would like to clean that area up. But I am really excited to have the Mighty Mouse on here. 
you see my previous video I actually cleaned out the intake manifold which kind of led me to purchasing the mighty mouse um but everything's all good and go i'm really excited with it and thanks for watching guys if you have any questions on installing it or any questions around the mighty mouse that i might answer just drop a comment below don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace